All right, so today's build is Earth Control Storm controller with any travel power, and it's a team-based build. E. And DJ Onslaught's Warshade, uh, Human Dwarf, H HD uh, Warshade. Trying to think, I did a storm summoning the other day of a personal build. It's kind of tricky. Start with the stone side because it's easy. Done. <laughs> Quicksand doesn't. You can't put anything in it to. Because Quicksand's got minus defense. And I looked at it, I was like, oh, I could do a uh, Healy's Heal defense debuff proc, but nope. Doesn't do that either. Salt Crystals, minus defense. Nope. It doesn't accept that IO either. You're killing me. You're killing me, Earth Control. Just saw the clock. Oh, yeah. See you, DJ. Quicksand is anti-fly. Yes. How how often will that help though? That's the downside. I'd rather just stone cage them. <laughs> yeah, never. <laughs> Look, a power got anti-fly. <laughs> but so does like all your other powers. Alright, O2 boost I usually skip, snowstorm I usually skip. Minus recharge doesn't help very much in PvE. Um, and there's not really any slots that you could put in here. It's just speed. My, uh, chance for minus recharge. Chance for smashing. It's not worth the endurance cost. Mason. Let's do probably be able to do super speed. Let's get the rest of these. So lightning swords, amazing. Tornadoes, amazing. Thunderclap with stalagmites is amazing. Hurricane, I like to take, but it's selective use. Raising rain is amazing. And well, now we just need to fill out with pool powers. So my normal loadout I know it's not a first person shooter but this is a loadout <laughs> uh, you get extra power slots here so you can help out teams quite a bit in the early stages so you gotta think positron goes to 20 so what would help out is if you have uh, tactics in one of these slots either 8 or 14 I'm gonna go Combat jump. Super speed's useful early, but he does, he's not looking for a specific travel, travel power, so he's he's welcome to use an in it to run. Can't like go to boost when we don't have healers. I'm not big on O2 boost. I it's so small, the cast is so long. <laughs> If they're that much in trouble, they're gonna die before the uh, the cast even ends. Um, it's to use a power slot for it. I just don't really, yeah, don't really like it. If it healed for more, then I would be I would be more. I would I would look to use it more, but it's it's minor. It's such a small heal. Uh, maneuvers, I'll go here. Tactics, it can help help out your teams in posi and um, synapse. But synapse, you could actually use one of these two too. So I would go. 
Boxing, tough leave. Epic pools. Alright, so. Fire blast, fireball, fire shield, rise of phoenix, consume. Oh! I'm gonna go with my favorite. I'm gonna check the other ones first. No. 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 So my favorite is Leviathan for controllers. A water spout. I love. Go shark skin. All right, let's adjust these around. Let's do super speed here. We can afford it. Boxing, tough leave. Water spout, shark skin. And mm, hibernate or salt? Or vengeance? How many defensive powers do we have? One, two, three, four. We have four. So that's okay. It doesn't give us our five luck of the gambler slot, slots, but it's good. It's four. We're not looking to perma anything. You know, recharge is always nice in every build, but there's nothing here that says, like, this has to be permanent all the time. It's not a goal of it. But hibernate just helps out survivability in case you get into trouble. Vengeance for the extra recharge or assault with the extra damage. Unfortunately, assault, I've come to question if it's useful because it's 15% of base damage, not 15% of your, your buffed damage. There's slotted damage. Let's let's just call it that. These are the main four accolades. I like to turn them on. Uh, though some people like to turn off to see what it is at the worst case scenario. Just after hitting 50 slot, slotted. Let's turn on these. Steamy mess. You leave Hurricane off. Because Hurricane is just situational. Uh, get to a AV giant monster or something where you know it's not going to be pushed away. This comes in super handy. But majority of the time you don't use it. You know that this last slot's only going to be one slot. It's one, this last power is only going to be one slot. So we'll just leave it empty. It's not going to affect uh, what we're using. So we can either go Smashing Lethal Defense or no, we're going to want to do Smashing Lethal Defense because Thunderclap is a PBOE, which means being in the middle of the mob is more useful. So I was going to go Range Defense, but I guess you could. You're gonna stalagmize them first. Run in, thunderclap. Thunderclap will extend the duration of the weaker guys, but it'll also stun the bosses. That's always been the troller's downside. Bosses is what kills you. All right, so let's start with the. Normal. Mason two slot. Sometimes three, but two. Start there. Uh, we have tactics, so this will just be look at the gambler. Maneuvers three slots. I feel like it's a waste if you do any more. But you're welcome to put more if if you have extra slots left over. EMS three. Uh, uh, Tactic 6. 
Or is it leave three? So defense endurance, defense endurance recharge. Stamina, I normally do three. Performance shifter, three slot. This proc is super important. It also gives you some hit points. You have no other healing abilities, so health will get three slots for Miracle, Numina, Panacea. If you have an extra slot, you can do Preventive Medicine, Chance for Plus Absorb. It's really good. Let's start with start with shark skin six slot because then we'll go unbreakable guard resistance resistance endurance resistance endurance charge and then the max HP and then staff fast protection resistance defense and knockback you need knockback. Stuff will be five slots, same resistance, resistance endurance. This one you can do endurance recharge because this power is much more expensive than. Oh, it's actually the same. But you can't use the proc twice. I wish you could. <laughs> and Gladiator's armor defense. Uh, let's go the knock back powers first. So tornado, water spout, uh, lightning storms fine. Earthquake freezing rays. Okay. So what? Ooh. Oh no, I was gonna do six. The water spout I go with here. Oh, we're not building for range defense, range defense, and lethal. So let me see how else I can build this. They're smashing lethal there, but it's not damage. This is a predicament. Might just have to go Ragnarok for the added accuracy and recharge. Ah, uh, this is my biggest gripe. It's the targeted AoE sets, set bonuses just don't help out. Smash and lethal melee sets or gearing, gearing options. More sets for targeted AoE. Alright, I'm gonna leave that blank. <sighs> Bothering me. <laughs> Alright, so... We can go... <laughs> yeah, I... Ugh, I wish they would help. Help out the targeted AoE sets. They're all just terrible. Oh, and I can't do these because then I can't put the the knockback conversion in it. So you have to six slot these for the melee defense. I 
Oh, it grinds my gears. <laughs> These sets. That's what grinds my gears. Alright, I'm gonna go five slots of these for the recharge and for the smash and lethal resistance. And then the sudden acceleration rock. Because your overwhelming force is down here. And the and catalyst these. Use catalysts on these. These will it'll turn turn them from thirty to fifty. So you get a you get a big boost in the percentages. Your damage will go up. Your accuracy, your recharge, and, and endurance. This I don't know yet. It bothers me. This is the issue that I had with my build that I made. That I made. No, okay. Catalyst came out when ATOs came out. Catalyst is used to increase the catalyst, the the, the ATO from uh, rare attuned with the orange dots to purple attuned with purple dots, and that scales with your level. And they quickly introduced. I don't know if it was. A, I don't think. It, I don't think it was at the same time. But it was right after. But they introduced the ability to have attuned of regular IOs. So these, you can make these attuned, um, which these will then scale with your level. So a IO that caps out at level 30, 35 kinetic combat, level 40 miracle, and various of other things, because you're, you're using a catalyst on them and turning them into attuned, their levels, the level of that IO now exceeds past the cap of 30, 35, 40, whatever it is, and they will become a 50. I have confirmed this. The percentages do go up, and it does match what a level 50 is. It does work. That is a confirmed test of mine. Yeah, so these, because called arms is a good set. I mean, look at the set bonuses. But the set itself has okay um, number so 60 61 percent accuracy 77 percent damage you know blah 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 so when these are catalysts up to 50 these percentages will go up now the downside of that is you can't increase the level of the uh, of the set so you can't increase the level with level boosters with enhancement boosters you can make level 50s into 51s, 52s, 53s, 54s, up to 55. You can increase the levels of these. So those percentages will go up. But to have this go from 30 to 35 versus 30 to 50, just don't use catalysts on 50s. Just don't. Just don't. <laughs> Use the level boosters on them. Way more, way more useful. Earthquake has a minus resistance. So that's good. More importantly, it's the to hit that's needed. So I'll probably four slot it with the fifth slot there. Freezing rain. I think I did three on mine. I'll do that for now. Fossilize. Let's do four. For basilisk gaze, I need to figure out where to put these though. Five slot that and four slot that. Exemplar down, you'll still receive the set bonuses back at a lower level. Yeah, well, you're right, Toxie, but I think of it more like 
how often are you going to get exemplar down versus the importance of your, the, the higher level content that you run. Either way, I'd rather, I'd rather do enhancement boosters on 50s. My personal, but I've come to, come to realize. Plus, when you get a sampler down, even without those enhancements being needs, you're already pretty darn strong being exemplared compared to what would you normally be level leveling up. So let's just outweigh which one outweighs the other. That's the whole thing of min maxing. It's What's the benefit from it versus the cost? Stalagmites, that's the disorient. See, my other character I built for range defense. A little bit easier to build. I'm starting to think that that might be more, more important. Because you have the one power that's, yeah, you have the one power that is somewhat dangerous, but this, you'll use that right after the, yeah. I'll convert this to right range. Take these out, take that out, and I usually do reactive armor slots for the range defense because there's really not any other options. You could do six slots here, but that's a lot of slots used. Um, and you only get what, recovery, knockback, toxic cyanic, hit points, and range. So let's try that. Let's see where that goes. Cause if I could, if I do range, then I could easily do. I could do this. Cause this is uh, range defense at the end. Oops. Uh, this one. Was it that one? Oh, oops, I switched the wrong one out. Yeah. Yeah, I think the range will outweigh the melee, because you do have one power for melee. Everything else is kind of at a safe distance. So, yeah. So, water spot's done. That only needs five slots. You don't need a sixth. Uh, damage on is, all, is not that great, but I'd rather have the recharge over the damage. Oh, you could take this one out. Yeah, there we go. I like that better. Better. This is fine. Still need smashing the authorities. Okay. That makes it easier. Oh my god, that makes it easier. So, I think this is still the same though. <laughs> so, I need a recharge and a little bit, a little bit of endurance reduction. How's that? Uh, yeah, I like that. And the last one is... Ooh, yeah! Healies! Oh, yeah, I was thinking about doing that over here, too. Healies. 
So I'll leave that there for now. Stalagmite, six. Thunderclap, six. Stone cages. No, targeted AoE. I hate you. I hate you. So stone cages, six. Trap of the hunter. Range defense. All the way. I capped out my range defense on mine. Oh shit, Smash and Lethal's already capped. <laughs> I didn't even try. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god. I didn't even realize it until now. That's just terrible. Oh yeah, this has a chance for knockback in it. God damn it. Bye. Bye. Bag six. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, mags is magnitude, and it's and it's magnitude one is critters. So Ricky monkeys, um, the the little dudes. Mag two is minions. Mag three is lieutenants. So anything that's a mag three will stun, mobilize, hold a lieutenant. Mag four is bosses, and then you know mag. 10 mag is AVs or something like that or EBs. Uh, one through one through four is is the same amongst um, uh, underling versus underling to boss. Beyond that, I think elite boss, AVs, monsters, giant monsters, uh, Ami, you know things like that. Those are those scale up. At a completely different rate. <laughs> like giant monsters hold is like a thousand. You'll never you'll never hold one. You can, I'm not saying you'll never. I've seen it. But it takes a lot of stacking from a lot of people. Um and that's to that is con to your own level. So if the enemies are a higher level, then it takes a little bit more to stun hold them. That's why anytime you go into somewhere that's like a lower level than you, or you hit like a gray enemy, and they just go flying, or they, you know, they get knocked back from a power that normally does knock down. That's because they're they're lower level. The magnitude to them is much higher. That's my way of trying to explain it. <laughs> that's I don't I don't think that's grammar grammarly correct on how it works, but it's just I'm trying to do layman's term for myself and trying to describe it. Want to perma hold AVs? Uh, perma hold might not be possible on a controller. I know you can do it on a dominator. Yeah, you would have to do. See here, you would do the lockdown chance for mag hold. And then volcanic gases, you have that here. So if you if you could perma volcanic gases and fossilize, and then throw in occasional 
Oh no, that is your AoE hold. Okay. But you'd have to stack that. You'd have to try and get this fast and then stack uh, fossilize on it. Which is a good point. Uh, um. There's range defense on it. There's no recharge. I won't do that for now though. I'm gonna do Bastic Skays. No, I'm gonna just do 5 slot. I'm gonna leave it at 5. Hurricane, I just go with uh, Endurance Recharge. No. No, don't need that. Just Endurance. Minus 30% to hit is already really high. What's so. the accuracy for? What's the accuracy check for? I think it's this, the knockback. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just leave it at that then. Uh, lightning storm, six. Ooh, see? I'm out of slots already. I had this exact same problem on mine. Still missing one knockback thing. Still missing. Lightning Storm, I wanted to use the Thunder Strike in it to get more range defense. Yeah. Animated Stone's got nothing in it. Enemy stone's basically gonna be worthless. It is extra damage. It is an extra enemy. Or enemy for the enemies. <laughs> extra hit extra enemy that extra ally that enemies can hit. Wow. Took me. I think I'm gonna go here. <laughs> Enemy stone's pretty dumb. They all they all are kinda dumb. So six slot that. Range defense good. Thunderclap. I wanted to I fight I could six slot that. Got range defense. And recharge? No. Oh. No, it doesn't. Okay. He just hangs back with you. Yeah. Well, I was, I was, I was thinking about changing that to like vengeance, just with for a luckily gambler slot. I like these choices. I like these. Freezing rain, what I did is I, this was the yeah, endurance recharge, so I went uh, the highest IO that I could find that has endurance recharge in it. Which these didn't. Um, All right, I'll just go to this one. Uh, where is it? There it is. So endurance recharge. So uh, your endurance goes down. Yeah. Recharge is good because it's below 30. And then what I like to do for freezing rain, <laughs> which is amazing, is Achilles. Chance for minus resistance. And annihilation. Chance for minus resistance. So freezing rain does 30% on its own, 
Plus this, plus this. Your team will do so much damage when freezing rain is hitting, hitting enemies. Gale, you can do the sudden acceleration knock knockback to knockdown conversion in here. So the power is actually useful now. <laughs> Throw that in there. I can always take this slot out. This is not a mandatory slot whatsoever. And I would use this over here. Although I'd rather do, yeah, I'm gonna do this instead. Accuracy recharge, actually doesn't need accuracy. Yeah, it does, never mind. Hey. Uh, recharge hold, endurance recharge hold, accuracy endurance recharge hold. As much recharge as possible. <laughs> yeah, it's almost perma. Not even really trying. Yeah, I love volcanic gases too. But I'm trying to get I'm trying to get range defense, recharge, which Basilisk case has, I love that set. And you could attune it to where they become fifties instead of thirties. And you get a chance for mag hold in it. So this stacking on itself with a chance for mag hold in it. It will it will hold a lot of things. Now you can do fossilize, same thing. Accuracy hold, accuracy recharge. Skip this one. Recharge hold. Donate it. Charge endurance hold. Accuracy endurance recharge hold, and the lockdown. So this power comes back very fast. Has a high duration, three mag hold, with a chance for chance for plus two mag hold. This is range defense and recharge which gets volcanic gases closer to perma. And let's see what hastens that. Not yet. No perma yet. One of the things I want to try and fix is the cap re resistance. Because like here I could take out this slot. It's not needed. I'll look, in that. I'll look into that later. Tactics, my favorite, Gaussian synchronized fire fire control. The reason why this is my favorite is because it's hit points recovery, damage buff is okay, but you're a controller, whatever. And the defense from it, it's amazing. Uh, just the targeting is nice. Smashing lethal resistance at six slots kind of seems a waste of slots. And recharge is great, but it's only 5%. If that 5% was like 7.5 or something more, then it would be more interesting to me. So I, I like to go here. I'm not a big recharge fanatic. I can if I need to, but <laughs> I like to I go here at the end. But chance for build up skews your numbers because it considers the build up portion of it always on. So it would be like if you had a build up power here and you clicked it on, that's what your your numbers would visually see as. So like volcanic gases is 146. If I to put this in here, they uh skews it. Even the damage goes up too. So, it's considering this always on, not good. Now when I do the final build, I will put it in there. But when people look at the build, they gotta understand the damage output is not as high as it, as it normally is. Yeah, animated stone. I don't know. I just don't like where they get to recharge speed. Am I capped on any? Nope, not yet. Lightning storm. Let me do that right now. Thunderstrike. Thunderstrike! Oh, that was bad. Sorry, guys. It's just great, great range defense. 
Seven percent accuracy. It's three three point seven five range defense, while this only gives two point five. Now this has five ten percent recharge, which is nice. And if I'm going full recharge like a dominator, then I would have done this. But I'm not too worried about on recharge. We'll get close to perma hasten, but it's not a goal. I'd rather get the max range defense than the, the perma hasten. So tornado, let's try and figure this out. What is the best to? Gonna say accuracy recharge. Uh, it sucks losing the recharge, but accuracy does not help whatsoever. Endurance recharge. Endurance damage recharge. Oh. That is here and here. Alright, uh, okay, nice. What would be the best perma hold DOM build? I'd probably say this Earth Earth Dawn. Because the other controls have like a, a power that you just throw out and it holds enemies. It's just a single hit hold. While volcanic gases is a placement that sticks around for 60 seconds that ticks a hold every so often. And that will stack on itself, which will be buffed by domination with fossilize. So you get, yeah, I'd probably say earth, um, ice, no, fire, no, gravity, no. Uh, dark, no. Mind, no. Illusion? I'm kidding. There's no illusion. <laughs> Plant? No. Yeah. Earth? Final answer. Alright, should we put something here? I don't know what the sudden acceleration second set bonus is. Sniper. Anybody in game? Can someone check what the uh, second set bonus is for sudden acceleration? Not in game. You should have it up, but. I can't find it on the list of stuff in my Discord. Oh, I almost just found it. <laughs> it was the sniper one again. Do not have it in my list of messages. Alright, I got an extra slot. Let's just assume that. This damage stayed the same, the only thing I lost was a recharge, and I'm not too... I'm probably sitting like in front of my... I'm not too worried about replacing the recharge for something. Oh, 
Oh, that's what I need. I need I need knockback. I need. Knockback. Combat jumping. Us. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> I almost screwed up again. Here, super speed. Bless the Zephyr. And then knock back. That gives me more range defense. I'm almost a cap. 0.1% off. So I add this. Boom. Range cap defense. Smashing lethal cap defense. Hastens almost perma. Got knock down here. Knock down there. I can do minus resistance here. So yeah, minus resistance here. Minus there. Minus there. With a 30% minus resistance in it. Got super hold volcanic gases. Super hold fossilize. Stone cages full immobilized. Stalagmite and thunderclap combined will stun any boss or below. Super speed's fine. A little cost heavy, but whatever. Should be fine on endurance. Hurricane doesn't need any slots. Uh, people sometimes slot it, but minus 30% is plenty. Earthquake is slotted for minus to hit, so you have minus 15 here. With another minus resistance. <laughs> Tactics at a low, low level, so you help out. Um, lower level accuracy to hit issues on most characters got that proc got that proc don't need because usually i do kismet but don't need that because you have tactics how do you do how do you use hurricane effectively it's walls if there's any walls in the area that you could push a, a mob to um especially before your allies get there if your allies are already there, and you start pushing the mob away, that's bad. Because you're just pushing the, the enemies away from your allies. Um, if you could push, yeah. If you could push a mob to a wall before your group gets there, you're not going to get hit. Your range defense capped, and Hurricane pushes things away from you. So nothing's going to hit you. Um, that's That's kind of your way of... Of gathering the mobs up or pulling enemies to a corner so they can stack up on top of each other if you could push them to a wall or push them to a corner that's good um, I personally wouldn't even really bother with that I'd rather just throw down earthquake and volcanic gases or whatever or stalagmite them thunderclap them hurricane is mainly used for Let's say, um, uh, like Tin Mage in current trial, or Apex, or any of the any of the in current trials. The AVs are not going to be able to be pushed. They've they have protection against any sort of pushing. So this is super useful for those. That Bobcat chick in whatever current trial that is or in current task force where bobcat just freaking does crazy damage oh that is a mechanic that i'm hoping that's going to be in the spiritual successors so city of titans which is what i'm going to be playing ship of heroes is the newer mechanics and newer games that you can Pull enemies in, you can dash through enemies so you actually end at a different location. So think of like Ion and how it connects to enemies. Have an ability that will connect to enemies and that's actually like a teleport of yourself. So you teleport from one spot to the other but hitting all the targets through there. You know, there's there's so many mechanics that this game just cannot do. No, it's too old. <laughs> Um, I'm super excited for that stuff. Let me sprint. 
Unbound leap, stealth, in case you need it. Cool. This is sudden acceleration. Knock back to knock down conversion. Although a tornado is knocked up, it still kind of they kind of fall away from the tornado. And mind you, you can actually have two tornadoes out at the same time. You got an 8.5 second overlap. Have two of these out and a wire spot out at the same time on an AV or a boss. So this plus this and this is doing that's this is doing 761 damage over the over the 30 seconds. This is doing 541. So 761. That's 1500 plus this 2000 damage over 30 seconds. As a controller, that's not even including all your minus resistances. That's just base without the debuff. All right, so your last slot, bad bow. What do you want? Visibility, I can't, I can't. There's no slots available for that. I'd like to take out combat jumping and turn this to stealth. Yeah, I'd have to turn this to stealth. But look, you got super speed that provides stealth on its own. And you have stealth in here. So you just turn it on sprint when you need to. And you just, you know, between super speed and this, you're, you're fine. Yeah, that's why I always put stealth in here. If there's, if there's nothing else in here that helps. So I usually just put it here. And you could just, what I like to do is I like to bind sprint to shift. So you hit shift, it turns it on. Stealth through and then just hit shift again and it turns it off. I do things like that. My ninja run and combat jump because they're mutually exclusive. I bind that to Q. So I hit Q, ninja run to, to the mob, hit Q again, turns on combat jumping. When the mob's dead, you hit Q, turns on ninja run, turns off combat jump, you run the next one. So you could just switch back and forth and you don't have to have those powers on your bar. You could just take them off your bar because they're bound to that key. Those are the two major binds I do. There's Ninja run and That's really hibernate. You're not going to use that very often. Assault will help you and your team. The downside is that you're already somewhat endurance heavy. You'll be fine. Normal attacking, but. Assault might push you over the edge. This looks like bad, but you remember you have this endurance proc and this endurance proc. Plus your incarnate. So if you do agility, like my favorite, that's endurance modification. That'll push this number higher. Mana issues. <laughs> It's not mana here. It's endurance. <laughs> You're not a witch doctor in Diablo 3. I don't know what else is available that would help. Sleep, fear, absorb, no. Oh wait, you guys can't see this. There we go. Yeah, sleep, fear, absorb, not really needed. Range is not needed. Damage resistance is not needed. And damage cost would be nice. You want with musculature. Defense debuff, not important but useful. To hit debuff, not crazy important because you're already pretty good on that. 
it would help. Endurance modification good. Run speed is not needed. Immobilized duration is not needed, and damage is not really needed either. It'd be nice. Hold duration, debuff range to damage, low movement. Okay. Nerve, accuracy hold, defense buff, resilience, damage resistance, taunt, immobilize, stun, hit buff, absorb. Don't need it. Don't need it. Okay, so. I like this one better than this one. But this one is endurance modification. But at the same time, if you go agility, you get the endurance modification, but you also get uh, who almost perma hasten. And volcanic acids gets close to perma. Pushes your range defense up higher too. So in case you do get hit, you don't drop down that much. You'll drop down a little bit, but not a lot. Debuff is not going to be that great. 15.19, 16.9. So it goes up all of one point, whatever. Yeah, same there. Damage goes up. Let's see, eleven fifty one versus ten twenty one. So one hundred and thirty. That's buff damage actually. So, oh, it's still the same one thirty. Honestly, it's up to you. Either way, agility or musculature. Those would be my my two choices. Agility core or musculature radial. Because this one doesn't give endurance modification. This one does. So it's entirely up to you. Radial or agility core. Depends on... Because you're already at... Near cap defense. Oh, I'm sorry. You're already at cap defense. So agility defense buff just pushes you a little bit more above. Recharge rate gets you closer to perma hasten because you're at 137. If you do agility, it's 125. And again, all your powers get reduced. So that's more often. This is more often. You can stack this actually, freezing rain. Uh, tornado, you can stack it. You have over 10 second overlap, water spout. And musculature is uh, damage, immobilize, defense debuff, it's a hit debuff, endurance modification, and run speed effects. So the three most important there is damage. To hit debuff and endurance modification. Mobile don't really need. Defense debuff don't need and uh, run speed you, you don't need. So damage, endurance modification, to hit debuff. Both of them have endurance modification. Both of them. And they're both 33%. So musculature and agility are both 33% uh, endurance, uh, endurance modification. Agility core just gives you charge and defense instead of damage and to hit debuff. And the rest you can choose. Yeah. I personally like hybrid. The I'm just letting you know. This one right here. 
Assault Radio. I've been kind of stuck on it. I love it. Chance for double hit. Have all your attacks hit twice for the same damage. Just like a scrapper and their, and their crit. I love that. I try and avoid any of these. I try and make the build good already to where I can use the... <laughs> I love this thing. I can't wait until I get a scrapper and, and use this on, on a scrapper. Will it be triple hit or will it be quad, quadruple hit? I think it would be triple, I'm just saying. But it'd be cool to see four stacks of, of like, I, I don't know, energy transfer. Something that it's hard. Controller destiny slot. I personally go Clarion. This one because it's more perma. 120 seconds. But that's up to you. I'm not gonna click on it. And then again, your final slot. Let's see what assault would be like. 221 Honestly, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm going to go I'm going to go hibernate. That way if you do get low in endurance, you can just hit this, recharge your endurance and come back out and start fighting again. I think the downside to assault outweighs the benefit. All right, I'm done. Cool. So, Gale, sudden acceleration. Tornado, sudden acceleration. That's it. I love... This is actually pretty good. I might learn some things from this and incorporate it into my gravity storm. Like getting rid of the pet. <laughs> Although the gravity <laughs> one's so much more useful. <laughs> Save. I will link it later. Uh, I never said a secondary. Because Earth has both both of the necessary powers, you got volcanic gases and fossilize. Let's look into that real quick. I don't know if, uh, yeah, DJ's gone. So I'll, I'll do his war shade right after. But let's look into what the possibility would be. Earth, yeah. So I don't think any of these are, nope. So seismic smashes has a hold of Earth. So it'll give you one extra hold. But you're not really gonna slot this for hold, so it's not really not really gonna help you that much. But power boost will help. Power boost will increase the duration of these. The the hold part. Electricity. No. Energy. Power boost. And. No, no hold. Fire doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think this one does. No. Get out. Not there. But it has power boost. Sonic. One of the powers has a hold, but I don't know if Dominators get it. Nope. Got to smash. No. Yeah, I already know. This. Savage melee. I don't has any. And no. 
Pretty sure none. None. <clears throat> Although you could do thorn traps and do uh oh that's a mobile. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, your best is right here, Earth. That's for strictly normal holding. Earth, Earth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fossilized volcanic gases and seismic smash with power boost. Alright, see the warship. Yeah, I'm just, I was interested too. Although I'm not a big fan of Earth assault. Personally, but as far as doing perma hold, it's your only your best option by far. All right, this is going to be then dwarf war shade. All right, are you not going to like this? <laughs> Uh, eclipse, uh, stake and return, ink aspect, no, there's only mag 2, Minion, minions and below, uh, stake and circle, twilight shield, shadow cloak, umbral shield, gravity shield and absorption, maybe this, but we'll we'll put that in later. And then, so uh, normally I hate these these eye powers because the cast time is 1.8. It's so long. But I usually go here. But the fact that gravimetric snare is also four seconds, I usually do these two. If gravimetric snare was like a six second recharge or an eight second recharge, I would do shuttle bolt, shuttle bolt, and then this. Because they're only they're both four seconds. I do these two. Dark Nova, no shadow blast. Yes, because you want to do just rain. So rain, rain. Uh, sunless mirror, you have to get. <laughs> it's your build up basically. Dark detonation, not a big fan of it. Gravity well, amazing. Essence drain is amazing. Gravity emancipation, 45 arc, but only 40 range. Ugh. I know I'm being goofy. I'm sleepy. Uh, Unchained essence is good. I like it. It's downsized. You have to use it on a, on a dead body. Asin. I do boxing tough and weave. He's he's a biform human dwarf. The only reason why no no I can't do boxing tough and weave. It's too many wasted slots. Boxing not gonna use tough. You're not gonna use. A uh, weave is the only one that you would use, and that's great and defense boost three point seven five. But what else would I use? That is the question. Can't use stealth. 
the Shadow Cloak is stealth. These are mutually exclusive. You can't use that and that at the same time. What's my defense power is like? Two. Three. It's only three. I need five. I might do tactics. Let's do vengeance and stealth. No. Grants invisibility. This will give me my last two, like the gamblers. And that's because you need Eclipse to be basically permanent and hasten. This is gonna be tough. Can you hear me? This is gonna be tough. I. Anything about this? Sorry, everyone. This is drain. I think I'm gonna drop. Because you gotta, you gotta think that you have your own attack powers and you have the dwarf attack powers. And you got your dwarf drain there, your taunt, your buff, and your two attacks. means you gotta think about slots it's not about the powers you can get all the necessary powers but the enhancement slots are so limited <laughs> okay defense powers are not going to change i'm just gonna throw those in there so that i can get a sense of where they are at There. Let's do the other powers too. So Stegen returns, recharge. Um, or Stegen circle. I think I just do endurance recharge. Because the heal is already amazing, eighty percent. Let's do stealth, uh, stamina. Let's do the, my normal. Yeah, let's only those two. Endurance, defense, endurance, defense, defense, endurance. An essence drain is that the only, uh, the only reason why I'll drop it is just because I'm not going to slot the power. If I'm not going to slot the power, it's it's kind of a wasted power slot. I'd rather pick up like I don't know, long range teleport or nebulous form. You stealth through things. Or victory rush to help your endurance every now and then. You can't slot it for recharge. Uh. 
Oh my god, excuse me. So I need to build for defense. I need that defense to carry over to morph mode. So let's turn these off. To get a sense of what our defense is like in dwarf mode. Because dwarf is just, yeah, it's just resistance. So, do shields first, or four, and let's do unbreakable guard. Max HP, unbreakable guard. Don't get knocked back, do they? No. No. So we need knocked back. This is energy and negative. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. It doesn't give. Goes there. Eclipse. Why do you do, why do you get Quasar the nuke? Doesn't it kill your android? No. No, it doesn't. This was uh, changed when they did the blaster nukes. Downside of this, uh, it's got a knockback of 18. Magnitude of 18.69. Yeah, no, it doesn't kill endurance. <clears throat> Recharge, super important. Try to recharge. This will just stack on top of your normal resistances. So at three enemies hit, it'll cap your resistance. Except for toxic and sonic, but if you just do a couple more, boom. So at five targets, you'll cap everything. This power actually translates over into dwarf mode too. So if you if you hit enemies with it and then turn on dwarf mode, the resistances will stack. Same thing with this. If you hit Sunless Mirror, your AoE damage buff, and then turn into dwarf mode and then hit uh, dwarf mirror, they will stack. You actually have both build, both buffs at the same time. Human dwarf warshade is so much better than human dwarf. Peacebringer. Humendorf Peacebringer. Terrible compared to this combo. But yeah, keep an eye on this recharge. That is super important to keep an eye on. So this gives resistance to everything, but that's not super useful. And it doesn't give any defense, but it does give recharge. So I need five slot that. And I need a slot that. This has a global heal. So I would rather have that in here. It is a global heal, so it should work on all attacks, but. I 
Last time I played my worst shit, this the ATOs were not out yet. I can't assume that, but I'm gonna assume it. Oh, this is a melee attack though. Ooh. Ooh, I can't do that. That will hurt my soul if I did that. Cause I can do super cheap defense right here. I need to put that in a range attack. As much as I hate to do that, I have to. Is that my crappiest range attack? Or, ooh. <laughs> Targeted AoE. <laughs> my worst nemesis. Oh. You no, know, I don't love target AoE. I hate those sets. Oh, they're terrible. Oh, they're so terrible. Uh, this might be too many slots for tactics. We'll see. Uh, it's gonna be resistance, right? Ooh. How many of this is there? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna cap out on that. <laughs> oh, recharge is next to nothing. I'm gonna go there. Get more resistance. I'm gonna put it over here. Screw that crap. Oh, I hate these. I'm gonna use it. Use this over here. I can do this one. Use this in range attack. I'm gonna use this for here. Yep. Final answer. Gravity well for Sunless Mirror five, Quasar five, Extraction something. <laughs> something. Um, slots. Ooh, 3.13. What are these? 3.13. Yeah, I'm going to cap out on that defense. So I can't use that. I can't use that. No. Nope. 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 So I'm out of I'm out of defensive options. And range attacks don't help help me there. Nope. Defensive help there. I don't need the smashing lethal resistance because I'm going to rely on Eclipse because Eclipse is amazing. Damage buff recharge, recovery hit points recharge. I think I'm, I'm going to lean towards Call to Arms again. Love that thing. Uh, accuracy? Yes. Damn it. There's damage. Damage recharge and I hate that. I don't like that. I don't like it. I might add some more to that. Uh, Ebonai, five. 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 Gravimetric snare. Four. Four. Yeah, see, I'm out of slot. God damn it.
Hmm. Oh, friend. Slow resist. Thinking about essence drain and moving that over. Let's give any. No. Move this over to Starless Step. Just for the extra slot. Knockback. You don't use that power, it's just proc dump. I'm thinking about getting rid of tactics. It's honestly my best option. What sets are in here? Yeah. Except there's no endurance help there. But uh, I'm gonna keep tactics. Rid of all these. There. <laughs> Smashing lethal defense. <laughs> four slots. Uh, taunt four, because I can do this one. Mocking beratement. Love this thing. Oh yeah, the teleport down here too. I could do, oh, for this one. Yeah, saving on slots. I knew this was going to be a, a but to do. Uh, melee. Slots are ready. Oops, sorry. Dwarf is for tanking. He's not really, you know, using it for damage. But again, I'm out of powers again. Have your range attacks. Have your fourth melee power. You have this, which is like little mini nukes when in dead. Quasar. Oh, Unchained Essence? Maybe three seconds. How in that long? I might have to get rid of this. Unchained Essence. I like that power, but slots are limited here. As far as what to get in its place, I don't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Essence Drain is back. Because I'm going to use it as a proc dump. Or. Or. This is not good. 
Not good at all. The recharge app. Uh, not that much more. This is okay. Let's. Just, I, I need to start just throwing stuff that I already know is gonna be there. Night combat done. Accuracy sucks. Oh. Give me more slots. I need more slots. Tactics would help right about now, wouldn't it? I'm honestly thinking he needs to go with, uh, what was it, Vigor? Yeah, Vigor. Ooh. Healing won't help that much, but uh, the accuracy and the endurance reduction. If he's in, he's in human form. The oh, I still need charge. <sighs> wow, this is a tough build out. I have knocked back. I have knocked back. We're just there. to be extra stealth because this will actually stack with this because this is not a power it's just a proc proc is not the correct term for it because it's not random when on the power it triggers Richard's damage isn't that great. Let's try it. Uh, kills anything that's not a boss. Once this triggers, it'll be... Yeah. That's yeah, worth taking. I still have all these though too. Jeez. The combats. I know these are off. If anybody's wondering. Keeping these off because I want to see what these numbers are like. While in dwarf mode. 
um, but still see what I am resistance-wise and defensive-wise while in here. These are turned on. This will be up towards cap, probably. Yep. So because I know my cap, oh, but I still need inky mode. On all the way? No. There we go. It's the main four accolade. Health and regen. Change attacks, they suck though. I want to get like that, and then I want to use these. Skip this one. Damage recharge. Recharge and a very fast charging power is wasteful. Damage is needed because my own damage. Plus this last one will make up for the recharge. This will give me my boost to recharge 10%. 5%. I don't want to take out of here. I don't want to take out of here. But I need more slots. This is okay. Not super happy about it, but I don't mind it. I'll probably switch this and put it down here. If I get an extra slot. Same. I think I'd put it over here. That does not. This is okay. Fifty one, same. And oh, I know it's blasphemy, but I'm like. About getting rid of one of these bars. He might get rid of this thing. Oh, 
Oh, I can't. Oh, I can. That. Sorry for being quiet. I just I'm deep in thought. Thinking about doing is trying to put Kismet in put stealth here. I put the like the camera there. That saves me on one slot. You won't use this power, but... Because I'm, I'm thinking about obliteration here. I hate the endurance cost on obliteration. Put the slot here, but oh wait, excuse me, not that. This so put obliteration over here. Oops, slots auto range. This. Oh, that one. This one. The chance for recharge. Yeah, there we go. Knock down. So knocks anything down in the area. Rationing again. Get me a cap. Already use that. That. Just want to recharge that. Ooh. Oh. Need to get. Uh, I might have to do Armageddon. Charge. It's still not close enough. Why? 
Why must you torture me like this? Why DJ Onslaught? Why? Melee defense is capped. That's true. Still gonna get shot like crazy while he's in dwarf mode. In human form, you're fine because you'll be capped easily. <laughs> except, except War Shades and Pre Springers, if I did just pure human form, oh, they're so easy. Oh my god, they're so easy. That's only because I'm, I've done it twice now. So I've got it like, I've already gone through the agonize. This is new agonize for me. I've thought about it, it works. I mean, it works really well, but there's just, just not enough slots. I've had to get rid of powers just to like get slots. I mean, he's got a decent attack chain here. You got Evan Eye, uh, Shadow Blast, and Gravity Well. You just boom, 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 boom. So, you know, one, two, one, three. One, two, one, three. One, two, one, three. One, two. Easy. You throw in a buff here and there. You throw in a nuke here and there. You throw some pets in. You're good. That's your attack chain as a human. Then you have your attack chicken as a door, so you just one, two, one, three, one, two, one, three. It's pretty simple. Oh. This has got decent healing to it. Oh, that's because I have that on. So, having healing in here would be a good choice of a slot right now. The other choice of a slot, I'm trying to think of where to put it and what for. Also thinking about what powers I could take out and replace with another power. So yeah, I'm thinking about a lot of things, Toxie. <laughs> I got defense, I got Smash and Lethal defense up to 92. 90, uh, 92, wow, 42. <laughs> Melee, 40, uh, 47. And this is in dwarf mode. Dwarf mode not on, but I have Shadow Cloak and Maneuvers off. When these are turned on, it's human form is capped. Quite nice. Now, my main issue, though, is recharge. Assuming I go agility. I'm not, I'm not perma-hasten. I'm close, but I'm not perma-hasten. And I'm thinking, oops, put one more here. Yeah, stop. Over here, I think I want to help out the healing a little bit. So accuracy healing. 
accuracy here. That's the other thing too, is accuracy sucks. Yo, haven't heard your voice in a while. I'm trying to finish out this last build. It's a human dwarf horseshade. Peace Springer. Horseshade's so much better than Peace Springer, but it's tricky. Oh, we need a gigas. We have, yeah, when you have pocket gigas, that's one thing. Uh, they me they messaged in in Discord. Not perma hasten. I don't think it's possible. Now without sacrificing the sacrificing the defense might be necessary too to cap the res resistance. Fire can for a fire farm is almost done. Lots. Um, Zergian two hemi raids in night in three minutes is awesome. Did four four Zergs in a row the other day. No, I can't. 
can't do it. Still need this one though. No. Five. Pricing two. Put them. Catch. No. No, I even log I haven't even logged in to Steam. I'll look. I go on a spending spree. Try to get one more slot for him.
Okay, I think I'm done with this. Sword shade. <laughs> It's so like <laughs> I feel so jumbled, like thrown together. But I can't. I can't play with it anymore. <laughs> Asin's permanent by point one second. <laughs> so it's great while it's in human form. That way you can survivable quite easily. Yeah, it's... <sighs> yeah, I'm done. I need to stop looking. Cool. Yeesh.